Okay, welcome to MPS. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good, good, good. I love the outfit. I love the fit. Thank you. Here we go. So favorite let's color. Just, uh, favorite color, huh? Yes. Pink? Mine too. <laughs> so let's just jump right into it, okay? Mm -hmm. Tell the audience who you are. Yeah, so my name is Caitlin Hoyles. I am a model and a beauty expert, and I've been living in the Toronto area for about six years now. Wow, okay. Okay, six years. The yeah. six. How are you liking it? Yeah, I like it a lot better than where I was previously living, but I'm definitely a creature that travels. Okay. So for me, I, I don't like to be tied down to one place for too long. Ah, okay. So let's get right into this, okay? How did you start modeling? And could you initially remember that moment when you told yourself you wanted to start modeling? Yeah. So for me, like, I was always kind of interested in it as a child, like modeling, acting, all of that. I just never really thought I could do it. And then uh, when I moved to Toronto, actually, one of the people I ended up dating was a photographer. Wow. And I was a makeup artist. And they were the one who kind of pushed me into getting into it. We did a lot of shoots together initially. And then I kind of launched things a bit on my own separately, was booking my own jobs from there. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you dated someone that actually introduced you into modeling. Yeah. That's a crazy story. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and once you decided to model, right, mm -hmm. just for our audience, because a lot of models are watching this yeah. and are trying to figure out how to get into it, right? What was that process like to start? Of course. So, yeah, for me in the beginning, booking, like, trade for print shoots okay. was easy, like, super easy they were easy to find i could do like multiple in a week sometimes but it took me longer to start booking more paid work okay and what are trade for shoots yeah so trade for print is where none of the individuals involved are going to be paid so that means like the model the photographer if you have a stylist if you have like a makeup artist or hair artist no one's going to be paid you're all looking for exposure and you're all looking to work as a creative team. So not necessarily one individual running it. Ah, okay. I said it wrong. So it's not trade for shoot. It's called... Trade for print. Trade for print. I'm learning something. Okay. <laughs> and um, do you remember your first couple shoots when you were starting out? Definitely. It was about uh, six hours in length total. Okay. And we did like multiple changes. I was the model as well as the hair and makeup artist. And... Yeah, we were changing the looks a lot. I remember being so sore after that, though. Like, it's hard on your body to hold yourself in those positions and to look good. Be sure you feel confident. Like, it takes more out of the body than people really give us credit for. Right. And six hours is a long time. It is. <laughs> and you were wearing multiple hats. Like, you were doing everything. I yeah. Like. Oh, yeah, no, like, there was no, like, casually take a break. Like, I think I maybe drank one small water bottle of water the entire time. Like, mm -hmm. leaving, I was like, oh my God, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> and people see the outcome, and they're like, this is so beautiful, but they don't know the work that's yeah. behind everything. So that's amazing, okay. And um, when I first actually ran across your page, the one thing I noticed was, like, you're, you're definitely big on marketing. Yeah. You're getting yourself out there. I mean, I feel like that's how I found you. Yeah. Um, so how do you go about marketing, and how do you go about, like, your content creating and, and you know, getting yourself out there? So for me, uh, my biggest platform that I've used for marketing myself is Instagram. Okay. That's how most people have been able to find me. That's how I got most of my paid work. Um, and for me, I treated it like a full-time job. Mm. I did like influencer marketing with it. I've worked with different brands like x -Crap Mexico, Based Body Care, which is a Canadian company. Shout out Canada. Right? Um, <laughs> And I've also worked like with other companies like Dolphin Discovery, um, the Cancun Tourism Board. Wow, a whole bunch of projects. Yeah. And um, just for upcoming models and models that are in the game, mm -hmm. how do you pick your projects? Like, How do you go about what to do and what not to do? Yeah, so in the beginning, I focused on diversity. So I really wanted to give various things a try, really push myself out of what might be my comfort zone. And then once I kind of refined to know a little bit more about what I liked, what I was comfortable with, and what I was good at, I was able to narrow my scope down a little bit more. Um, and for me, like, 
right now paid projects I am a little bit more flexible with. I'm happy to bring someone else's vision to life. But with my trade for print shooting, I have to be a lot more selective because I have a list of almost 80 individuals. 80 individuals. Who are wow. looking to be contacted Damn. for when I have availability. Wow. But I really only get availability one to four times a year, depending on when I'm in the city and when I'm not working, to be able to actually book these trade for print shoots. So it's very challenging, and I had to put more parameters, including theme, including if they wanted to submit to a magazine, and these different things in place to help me with my selection process. And I think that's good to hear because it sounds like you uh, you step back and you try to figure out how to elevate and take it to the next level, right? Yeah. For me, like, I initially started off just doing this as something I enjoyed. I never really thought I would necessarily be paid for it. Uh, I was just hoping I wasn't going to have to pay too much to do it because you hear a lot of girls wow. paying a lot to go to agencies and to book shoots. So for me, I was very lucky in that regard where I didn't have to pay a lot to get myself started. And I was actually able to transition into getting paid. Right. And I think just the fact that I always looked at every shoot, whether it was paid or not, as a business opportunity. And I treated my Instagram page like it was a business and not like it was something for fun. Right. And that's really what was able to propel it forward as fast as I did. Very important, too. Yeah. Good for you. You're definitely figuring it out. And I, um, I uh, overheard you mention Mexico. Yes. Right? So that actually leads me to my next question. Um, mm -hmm. I noticed on your page you travel a lot with shoots and you travel with projects, right? Yeah. Now, what's one of the f your, your uh, most favorite places you've been when it comes to, you know, locations? Yeah, I know. That's, that's a hard question. Um, before I came to Toronto, Australia had my heart. I actually almost didn't come back. Uh, I was there backpacking solo for three months. But I think one of the places that more recently has caught my attention was Portugal. Okay. Me and my current partner went there in spring of last year. And we only spent a few days there, but we were struck. Like, we wished we spent more time there. Just the culture, the vibe... It was very different. It was very true to itself. Right. And you didn't feel like you were in Canada. It was very apparent that you were right. somewhere else. And we really liked that. Like, we liked how easy it was to be immersed in their culture and their food and everything. So, yeah. Portugal. I got to check out Europe. I got to check out Portugal for sure. Definitely put it on your list. And it's also... One of the more cost-effective places in Europe I've been, right. where like you get good value for your money. Super dope. Okay, and um, if you had the opportunity to move to like any city outside of Toronto or a country, right? Yeah. Um, would you move or would you just stay here? So honestly, I've already moved out of Toronto once and come back. So I moved to Grenada in the Caribbean for a little bit of time during the pandemic. Wow. And a pandemic move is quite interesting, especially internationally. Um, but we came back and we are looking to be moving outside of Toronto eventually. However, like my family is in Canada, so I feel like I will always be in and out of Toronto in some regard, even if it's not my permanent home. Okay. And just for our audience to know, because I know we're talking about work and being creative, right? Yeah. But what does Caitlin do on her spare time? So when you're not working and, like, you know, you're just, like, one-on-one -on -one with yourself, with your peoples, what does Caitlin do? Yeah, so I will say spare time is in very limited supply lately. But when I have it, uh, I do take time every day to cuddle with my cat. Mm -hmm. She is a lap cat, so she needs that. You can actually see her on my Instagram. We did a photo shoot together when she was a kitten. And besides that, like, I really enjoy wines. So I really like doing, like, dinner and drinks with friends. Um, I definitely like trying new things, new experiences, new food, new restaurants. So for me, like, if I get the chance to do something new, 
I'll always take that. Okay. Super dope. What's your cat's name? Her name is Luna. 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 Shout out Luna from <laughs> MPS. Um, and I think uh, what I really want to know is what is next for Kaylin in 2023? The year just started. Yeah. Fresh start. What's your plans? Right now, I don't have anything too solid. Okay. Right now, I'm focusing on continuing to move forward. I'm hoping to make some more time for shoots. Um, I definitely am focusing right now my efforts on some of my personal finances and looking to improve in all the ways that I can there. Um, and yeah, me and my partner are looking to figure out where exactly our future is going to bring us and exactly how we're going to be getting there. So for now, like I'm not too set on what that's going to look like. I feel right now I just need to be open to the possibilities of what that's going to look like and just keep working hard and enjoying my time here while I can. Amazing. Um, that's a wrap. That's pretty much it. I want to thank you for uh, stopping by the station. Of course. And yes, this is great. Um, super dope. And uh, where, could, uh, where could the audience find you? Uh, so the place I'm more active is definitely going to be my Instagram page, which is not another Barbie doll. Okay. But I do also sometimes post on TikTok with the same handle. Those are kind of the two best places to find me. Perfect, perfect. Next stop, Model Pick Station.